family from Birmingham now living in Asheville, North Carolina, evacuated after Hurricane Helene's destruction, and they tell us their friends and family in Asheville are still in need days later. ABC 3340's Mary Barron joins us now live in our newsroom with more details on their journey, and Mary, they've had quite the experience. Mariel Jarrett and Ashley Allen live in Asheville, North Carolina, but originally grew up right here in Birmingham. After three days of no water and power from the storm, they were forced to return back to Birmingham. The Allens tell me they are still in disbelief and what started as a normal day for the couple quickly took a turn for the worst. And we look outside and all of a sudden the floodwaters are coming up. Picnic benches are under the water. So we cut the mixer and tell everyone to get home safe. That was Wednesday night. Ashley Allen tells me their home in North Carolina was not damaged. Fortunately, they were able to evacuate back to a familiar area. However, that's not the case for many of their family and friends. Um, a lot of my great aunts, uncles, cousins, they're still there. And none of our staff was able to evacuate either because gas was so low and gas lines are around the block and you're just not able to get it and gas stations are running out. Ashley Allen runs a local nonprofit in Asheville. Her husband, Jared, a youth pastor. The couple tells me this unforgettable natural disaster taught them one valuable lesson. How to really be a community, honestly. Um, but having everyone sort of come together and support one another and be there for each other and, you know, really be the hands and feet to really lift up the whole community. Even though the storm is over, the effects still linger on the community. The Allens tell me there is limited access to medicine, no water, and power is slowly starting to be restored in certain areas. The Allens tell me they are preparing to return back to North Carolina tomorrow with a trunk full of supplies and necessities for their friends and family who are still there. Muriel. Mary Barron.